Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the best way of taking a screenshot with a Microsoft Surface device. Of course, what I'm gonna show you is gonna work on any Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, but I think this works really, really well on the Surface devices because it lets you utilize Surface Pen really quickly and really simply. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up and if you wanna supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So the tool we're gonna to use today is actually called the Snipping Tool, and there are three ways to access the Snipping Tool with a Surface device in Windows 11. The first way and the most convenient way that I usually use it using, using the keyboard shortcuts, Windows, Shift, and S. And this is gonna launch, as you can see here, straight into the Snipping Tool, where at the top we have four options of, the first one is a rectangular snip, where you can see we have the crosshairs, and we can choose the area of the screen we're gonna snip. You've got the freeform where you can use freeform and this works really great with the Surface Pen. You can of course choose to snip a window. So instead of snipping the entire screen, you're just gonna snip a particular window or you can do the standard full screen snip. Now to launch into this option on any Windows computer is Windows Shift and S. You can alternatively press the start menu and type in snip and launch straight into the snipping tool from here. But if you have a Surface device like I do with the Surface Laptop Studio in front of me, as soon as I undock my Surface Pen from the bottom, you can see down the bottom here we have a little context menu of the whiteboard, the snipping tool, the settings, and of course, uh, learn more. And here I can actually use the Surface Pen to go straight into the snipping tool. From here, I get the same options as before, and I can actually just go to create a brand new snip with my pen. And now I can choose to use either the rectangle but now I can also drop down my surface and make a snip here using the pen and being really accurate with what I'm snipping. Once we've done this snip, it's gonna take us straight into the snipping tool where we have a lot more pen options as well. So you can see here we can choose to annotate with the pen and we have a whole bunch of different colors and um, sizes that we can pick from. And I can just change this to say a blue and I can start writing and drawing all over here. I can grab the highlighter and start highlighting what I'm after, or I can of course use the eraser or just simply turn my pen around and use the pen to erase the, the writing that I've done on that screen snip. I also have the ruler if I wanna make sure that I'm drawing really straight lines here. And if I press the ruler one more time, I can also get a protractor that I can make bigger or smaller with a two finger uh, pinch. And you can see that I'm drawing perfect circles as well. I then have the option of pressing protractor one more time, sorry, or the ruler one more time to get them off the screen. I can choose to draw with my hand instead. So I can go touch with writing and now my hand is actually activating this, uh, the pen. And then I can also crop this as well by using the mouse or using the pen, which I find, again, really easy to control and be a bit more granular with what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna go, okay. And then of course, if I wanna share or save that, in the top right hand corner, I can hit the save option, which is gonna save this snip with all my annotations on there. Or I can hit the copy option, which I can just copy it, paste it somewhere and send it off. So using the snipping tool on Microsoft Surface devices makes it really easy to not just take a screen snip, but it allows you to actually get that pen and start marking, annotating and writing up all over that screen snip you've just taken. And then you can send it pe to people with a lot more information than just the screen snip itself. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.